In this video, I'll show you how you can connect your Canva website to an existing domain. So I'm going to show you how you can connect a domain to Canva. Now, this video is not going to be a tutorial on how to create a website. I'm simply going to show you how you can connect a domain to it so it can look a lot more professional. So first, if you haven't already, go ahead and create your website. So go to Canva, type in website and then edit it for a website template. Once you're ready to publish it to the world, and connect to your domain. You want to then go to publish website in the top right hand corner and that will give you some options here. So Canva are going to lock your design while you publish your website. And if I was you, I would keep all of these settings on default. So I would keep resize on mobile as default. And then scrolling down, you can publish to an existing domain. So go ahead and click here where it says use my existing domain, then click continue. Now Canva are going to ask you for your domain. Your domain name needs to be registered somewhere. Obviously, I've registered my domain with Namecheap, but you can use Namecheap, GoDaddy, Hostinger, Google domains. It all works in the same way for me to get to my domain in Namecheap, I'm going to go to my username and then head over to my dashboard. And I can then go to my domain list or I may even see my domain on the homepage. I'm going to connect here this domain online how to guide.click. So I'll go ahead and highlight that and then copy it. And then we'll paste it into Canva and click continue. So now we can connect our domain following these simple steps. So what we first need to do is add a TXT record and it tells us exactly here what to copy and paste. So we want to go to Namecheap and go to manage on your domain. And then you can head over to advanced DNS. Inside of advanced DNS, you want to delete anything that's already there because we're going to go ahead and add our own records. So go ahead and add a new record and we are adding a TXT record. So click TXT, then go back to Canva. You can See here we're adding a txt record here where it says name slash host slash alias we first want to copy that and we want to put this in the host box so go ahead and paste it in here then go back to the second box where it says value slash points to and copy that and we'll go ahead and paste that into the value box here and then click the green tick and that's going to add that txt record once we've done that we'll click on the txt record added button and it will ask us to now add an a record so in the name slash host we want to copy the at symbol so now we are adding in an a record so add new record a record we want to paste in the at symbol here and then copy this second piece of information and paste it into here. Then click the green tick and it should then add that record as well. And we can let Canva know we've done that. Now we need to add one more A record. So the name slash host needs to be www. So we'll copy that, add new record, A record, paste www. Also we'll copy this second bit of information and paste it in this record and save changes. So now once you've done that, you should have two A records and one TXT record. We'll just go ahead and let Canva know that we've added that. And now we can connect our domain. So here we can add a custom page URL, but right now I want mine to just go to online how to guide.click, no forward slash. What I am going to do though is add a page description because this is what's going to come up on Google. So I'll just type here a YouTube channel and website dedicated to creating how to videos. I'm also going to edit here and this is going to show on the browser tab. So maybe I want it to say here something like knowledge base home. Now what we can do is we can publish this and it should recognize all of the advanced DNS records have been added. And now you can see your domain is being verified by your host. And that can take up to 72 hours. And they're going to send us an email when that has been published. Now you can go ahead and view your domain right away. So if I go ahead and go view preview, it might load. And there you go. You can see there's the preview of your website, but you just might have to give it a while before it actually connects to your domain. What I would do to actually see if this is connected is I would go home on Canva, then go to your settings icon in the top right hand corner. Then you want to go ahead and find domains. So if you scroll down, you should see at the bottom left hand corner, you should see domains. You can see right now this is pending. We can view this and once it gets connected and once everything is linked, your domain should work. So you can see right now it's not going to Canva, but it will work eventually. You just have to give it up to 24 hours really. Now, if you get impatient and you want to know if you've done everything correct, what I would do is copy your domain and head over to a website called dnschecker.org, paste your domain in here and then click search. Now, if everything's green here, it means everything's working. You're just going to have to wait for everything to get updated. Once it's updated, it will work. So that's how you do it. I hope that helped you out.